Bart, where did you get those? There's an open house next door. They're giving out cookies and business... Oh, come on, Marge. It's not fair to compare us to an American household. <gasps> it's so beautiful and modern. A slightly colder fridge in my lifetime? Amazing. This is the kitchen I've always wanted. Hey, Marge, can you press stop when my popcorn's done? Uh-oh. <gasps> but seeing that kitchen today made me wish we had something a little better for ourselves. I'll build you a new kitchen, sweet. But maybe we should hire a professional contractor. A contractor? Those guys are the biggest crooks around. Maybe you should turn off the power. All right, easy, easy. Play Dude magazines? Have you been hiding bosom rags from me? Trying to. <laughs> uh, the articles, eh? So, you wouldn't mind if I cut out all the erotic nudes? Of course not. I'm not wearing any clothes, so why don't I just splay myself on a pool table? Sport fishing with Sonny Jurgensen! Oh! <laughs> what man would want you now? Whoa, play dude! The lady in this picture is hot! She can calamine my hives anytime! That's Congresswoman Bella Abzug. Ciao, Bella. We'll be Play Dude Playmates! We are Play Dude Playmates! We are Play Dude Playmates! Calling a contractor. Thanks for taking the job. I'm sorry my husband is being so difficult. Get lost, crook! When Virginia Woolf wrote Every Woman Needs a Room of One's Own, she must have been talking about the kitchen. Picking up some money because this stupid kitchen cost a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I was thinking of chicken wings. Those are good too. Hmm. Marge Simpson's wasabi buffalo wigs? Oh, an eastern twist on a western New York favorite. Mm. Oh. For Marge! Huzzah! Huzzah! And how about a huzzah for my husband who paid for our new kitchen? Never! This here oven fresh bake off, but uh, up against you, I wouldn't have a Hindu's chance in heaven. If you win, Oven Fresh Industries will make you the new face of anti-Oven Fresh. Timson, you must pursue your dreams, like my old dream of coming to America and starting a family. Or my new dream of ditching my family and sneaking back to India in disguise. Apu? Never heard of him. So, when do they start singing? Well, the Play Dude Advisor says this music will get a stewardess to give you a layover. Clever presentation is as important as taste, so I'm entering my dessert dogs. Mmm, it's dessert, but it's hot dogs, so it's good for you. Arch, I don't want to freak you out, but I think I love you. Mom, a letter from Oven Fresh Industries. Well, open it, open it, open it. Oh my god! Someone somewhere says I'm better than someone else! Sorry, Ralphie. The Bake Off rejected your recipe. I want to be in the Bake Off! There, there. I think your grilled crayon sandwich was delicious. Can you taste the thumbtacks? Ah, oh, crap. Bart looks different today. Listen up, ring-a-ding-dingers. I'm throwing a little sipping quip at the Play-Dude Treehouse. Saturday night at the top of the ladder. I want to be a triangle. You're not invited. It's going to be weird cooking without your tipsy father grabbing me from behind. Why, thank you, Billy. Don't look at my human eyes. Oh, don't mind Billy. His oven light's on, but nothing's cooking. <laughs> that is so 90s. Why don't we all move to Seattle and use slow modems? <laughs> <laughs> Great licks, man. Great licks. Yo, Bart, there's no room left in the grotto. <laughs> hey, Bart, me and Mrs. Krabappel, uh, we're gonna go play some backgammon, if you know what I mean. I don't, but I hope you win. Oh, he's gonna win. Some guys like a challenge. Start your kitchens! <gasps> mm -hmm. Fish scales. Stop! You're
you're tainting my entry. <sighs> Why is everyone at the Spake Off such a meanie bobini? Listen here, Simpson. Your son has been exposing our kids to adult themes, unabashed dictionaries, and the lesser short fiction of John Cheever. <laughs> <gasps> my dessert! <laughs> Attention, contestants! Baking time is over. Not in the judging room by the time this metal door hits the ground. Your entry will not be official and will be eaten by the janitor. Oh, I guess I was the last one. Damn it! There's black and my sugar wieners. I'd like to give those Betty Crookeds a taste of their own medicine. Baby ear medicine. <laughs> There's plenty for all of you. Now who's laughing? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Me. I'm laughing. I can't believe my mom would cheat. Hey, sweetie, is mom winning? Oh, she'll win the contest. But she'll lose her soul. But she'll still win the contest? And lose her soul. Our two remaining dishes are blackened dessert dogs by Marge Simpson and Armadillo on a Road by Brandine and no last name given. That's an entry? I thought it was garbage. Would you excuse us, Milton? It's Mill House. Yeah, and your father's no house. Now scram! Uh... I thought I'd never have to do this, but it's time to tell you the facts of life. Do you know what a boob is? Oh, yeah. Good. That'll save us some time. Biological method by which children are created by a man and a woman is... <laughs> then the man... <laughs> well, it's better they hear it from me now than from their parents when they're old enough. Don't forget your secret ingredient. Cheating! Well, it's not my fault. Lisa, the people in this bake-off are stinker. I don't want Mickey Mantle. I want my mom. Hey, plenty of kids are going to look up to me when I'm Auntie whatever it is. Can't you understand that I need this? Huh. Welcome to the final battle of the Oven Fresh Challenge. Oh, she's already ahead of me. Well, I didn't come this far not to cheat. Huh? I look up to you because you let me down. Stop the competition! What? I don't deserve to win. I sabotaged all the other entries. Thanks, honey, for saving me from myself. And Marge, you'll always be the best chef in our house. Hey, look! The new Oven Fresh flower bag! Mm, that could have been me. Oh, I wish it had a been. <laughs> now that Brandine's famous, she does run off with James Carr. That's it. Next time I fly. Wow, an indoor water park. Hopefully this will put the final nail in the coffin of lakes and rivers. Well, as a mother, I... We all know you're a mother. <laughs> oh, I thought baths that were more exciting. Baths! Oh my god, a plastic ring. Out of my way, you little twerp! I want that ring. Awesome. Millhouse, how long you been waiting in line? You mean you didn't use the app last week to get your slam and salmon line number? Attention bathers, this is water park president Cal A. Bunga. Do not panic, but the pools are infested with those tiny fish that swim up your wiener. <laughs> Again, do not panic. If you think a wiener fish has entered your dingus, the only cure is to roll around naked in the snow. <laughs> Oh, dear God! Bio-breach! 
No heartbeat. Finally a chance to use my online CPR training. Come on, come on, you have so much more trash to eat. Steal one more breath, noble bandit. <coughs> it worked. I saved you. For once, a life saved at a Springfield water park where a quick-thinking second grader performed emergency CPR on a drowning nuisance animal. <laughs> we saw you on the picture radio. Lisa, it looks like you're the perfect student to look after Nibbles the hamster here during spring break. And for saving that raccoon, I got the opposite of teasing. What's going on, Chief? Oh, nasty car crash. We need to get home. I left my father-in-law on the sofa. He's gotta be turned. Yeah, well, that ain't gonna happen. Not unless you clean up this accident scene. <laughs> Actually, seriously, could you do that? But but these crime scene cleanups, they're totally safe. All the bad people are dead or uh, at large. So give it a shot. Please, please, Mom. Huh? There you go. Spick and spank. You know, Marge, uh, you ever want some fast extra cash? We are always looking for crime scene cleaner-uppers. You know what they say, crime always pays. Hello, little girl. Oh, does your hamster have Tizer's disease? That would have been interesting, but I swabbed him for Tizer's and it came up negative. Is there any way I could work in your office? Grab a clean smock and follow me. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't find a clean smock. Then your first job is to clean the smocks. This is heaven. You gotta help me, Doc. My pet ferret has lost its terrible stink. Clear. We have stink lines. Well done, Lisa. Heaven! <laughs> Dr. Budgie, I'm really enjoying cleaning out these cages. No, really I am. But are there any jobs that are more exciting? Oh, Lisa, slow down. Do you know how many awkward courses I had to take before they let me put my arm inside a horse? I understand. I just feel like I could be doing more. Oh, me. I think we need a new ceiling fan. The old one doesn't seem safe. It's fine, and it saved us money on haircuts. Uh -oh. Springfield PD. P.D. Police Department. Ha! I just got that. Chief, Chief, this is Marge Simpson. I think I'd like to do some of those crime scene cleanups. What's the matter, little guy? You haven't touched your berries. Do you need aphids for flavor? Mmm, aphids. Lisa, could you come here for a moment? If I hold him, do you think you could attend to the matter of the needle? Of course. Huh. Why am I not feeling the same rush I did with the raccoon? <laughs> I bought a new ceiling fan. Huh? Ooh, I thought the air felt a little more lively. But where did you get the money? Actually, I made a little extra by cleaning up crime scenes. And I get the police discount on cleaning supplies. I can finally clean Grandpa's dentures. Yeah, I got popcorn in there from Kramer versus Kramer. Yar, is the doctor read, miss? Little Goldie here is listening hard to starboard. Uh, I fear he may have tangled with the wrong plastic diver. Hmm, could be fin rot. Captain, the diagnosis of fin rot is not the death sentence it used to be. A couple drops of medicine in the water and he'll be fine. Ooh. Yar, that's amazing. <laughs> Hurry, Doc. His lungs are full of seltzer. <laughs> Happy birthday, Martin. Where's the gift table? <laughs> right over there, my friend. Some zoo. Where are the rental strollers? The animals are healthy. A couple of paddock scrapes, but nothing overly concerning. Oh, knock it off. You're not a vet. You're a glorified cage scrubber. Want some peanuts, Mr. Elephant? Ah, uh, it's a goat, not an elephant, and those are shrimp, not peanuts, and that goat is allergic to shrimp. Your breath smells like, don't drink that. Me, me. See, Bart, life 
life or death, I make the choice. Guess what, sweetie? I'm wearing my snuggle socks. They're compression socks from your heart surgery. All the same. <sighs> What's wrong? It's just that seeing you lying down reminds me of this bloated corpse I had to clean up today. No, I've never seen him like this. He's so listless. Who's lost the urge to kill? Who's lost the urge to kill? I'll tell you what's wrong with him. You! What? Me? Some people don't deserve to own pets. And you get to decide who? Please, look at yourself. You've become so arrogant you've forgotten who you are. And even worse, you've forgotten nibbles! Did you let this happen to a creature in your care? Pet hamsters need to be played with regularly, or they feel abandoned. And that can lead to stress polyps on the heart. Well, we've done all we can. The next 24 hours will be crucial. Oh, he's gone. No, no! Okay, Mart, sweetie, look at this one. See, Mart, the baby laughs every time the toaster pops. <laughs> it is pretty hysterical. That's nice. I want my Marge back. Hello? What is it, boy? Uh-huh. I see. That's not how Homer Simpson does things. I have to go help Lisa. No answer. I guess we gotta do this ourselves. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> if there's one thing I'll always clean up, it's my baby's tears. Well, I'll be. Lisa's learning about death helped Marge feel again. Yes, a perfect dovetail. I want to thank everyone for coming to Nibbles' funeral today. This is President Cal A. Bunga. On this sad occasion, the school flag will be flying at half-ass. Bart! Please stand for Nibbles' final journey. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>